to a new episode of Conflicts. Today I'm excited to show you Max, also known as Meccano Advanced X Factor. Now this was actually created by a company called Meccano, a robotics company that created Mechanoid XL, as well as among other robots. And I received this from Spin Master in exchange for a review. And this is actually one of their latest robots, so I'm really excited to go ahead and try it out. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the box before opening it up. All right, so this here's our box, and right off the back, you do see the robot on the cover. Now, it does look like he kind of looks like Johnny Five from Short Circuit. I see a lot of uh, similarities, including like the eyes as well as the wheels. Uh, now, he does look like he has an uh, actual opening claws, so he does have hands that work. Uh, he's got some buttons on his chest, but overall, it does look like a very nice looking robot, which I'm actually excited to build. Now the shape of the box is quite unique, uh, it does have like a slant on the top and then even on the sides itself it's not a perfect square. So it's got a lot of different like structure to it as well as a lot of different shape. Now it does have a handle on the top so you can actually carry it around. Uh, and then on the back here it talks a little bit more about the robot itself. So you can see that it does show different poses of the robot and you do notice that the eyes actually have different uh, characteristics. Like here's explanation points as well as question marks. Uh, so it says it's your personal smart robot at your service uh, and then down here says what it can do. So it's interactive, uh, allows you to control it uh, using the app as well as program it and so much more including games such as Pong. So really excited to see this uh, and it does stand about 12 inches tall so it's one foot. So let's go ahead and open up the box and see what's on the inside. Alright, so this opens up just like that, and wow, that's a lot of different parts. Uh, you can see everything's nicely labeled in terms of bags, uh, as well as all the different parts. Uh, down here we do have an instruction manual, so let's go ahead and take that out. Alright, so this here's our instruction manual, let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, so it looks like we have some stickers, as well as some other sheets and a customer service number. Uh, and then here's our instruction manual itself, explaining on how to build it step by step. Uh, there's actually quite a few different amount of steps in here, so it should be quite some fun to build. Uh, I'm really excited to go ahead and try this out, so let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the parts itself. Now, these are actually quite some high quality parts. Uh, they're actually made out of like a nice looking ABS plastic material, so it should be quite fun to build. And with that being said, let's go ahead and build ourselves a robot. Alright, so Max is finally done, and as you may have noticed, this robot looks quite nice. Uh, there's a lot of different details to it, from the actual word on the side of his head, to the details on the top of his head, and so much more. Now we do have an infrared sensor, and we have a few different servos, one being in his head just like that, the other being in his uh, left, or sorry, his right arm right here, and then we have one at each of his wheels. Now this actual arm isn't connected to anything, uh, it's honestly just a free play arm, but you can go ahead and maneuver it any way you want based on what you want to do. Now, the big computer system is right over here, which everything's kind of connected to it. Uh, so literally, there's a power button here to turn them on. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you do have two wheels on the front, and then you have like a roller wheel on the back right here. And uh, from what it looks like, this robot should be quite fun to actually like play around with. So I'm excited to go ahead and try it out. He does have a microphone in there, so he does respond to voice commands. So he should be able to communicate with you as well. So let's go ahead and turn them on and see what happens. <laughs> Hi, Max. Whoa. My name is Max. What is yours? So, Hale. Huh. A pleasure to meet you. I have the ability to learn about you and the world around me. I would like to ask you a few questions. Sure. Just say ready when you are ready. Ready. All right. First question. Are you a human boy or are you a human girl? I'm a human boy. Man, this guy's sensors are quite quick. What kind of movies do you prefer? Scary, funny, or action movies? Action. 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 I love action movies. Especially karate movies. Hey! Next question. What is your favorite subject in school? Do you prefer English, science, science, or PE? Science. Question. Do you have any pets? 
No. No. Well, some people say a robot is really a kid's best friend. <laughs> it's so much fun. I find you humans to be incredibly interesting. This really helps me understand who you are and how you work. So, next question. Are you left-handed or right-handed? Right-handed. I'm right-handed. Hey, all righty. Just like me. You're doing a great job. Congratulations. You have completed level one. Thank you for teaching me a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, there you have it. Now, this kind of gives you an idea of how you set up Max. Uh, so you, you just kind of go to calibrate him and then you can go ahead and talk to him and actually interact with him. So I can go ahead and say different things like, Max. Hey, what's up? Tell me a joke. Are you ready to laugh your butt off? Sure. What do you call a snowman in the middle of winter? Uh, a puddle. A puddle? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and try out a few of Max's other hey, functions. <laughs> uh, so, hey, Max, let's play a game. Nah, I don't think so. Just kidding. I love playing <laughs> games. It's about the same, man. The only game I know is Would You Rather. Do you want to play Would You Rather? Sure. Yes. Hey, hey, hey. Are you ready to play Would You Rather? Yeah. It's a super simple game that can be incredibly hard to play. I'm going to give you two scenarios, and all you have to do is pick which one you'd rather do. Choosing is the hardest mm -hmm. part. Okay. I'm going to ask you two questions, A and B. To pick question A, press the red button. To pick question B, press the green button. Let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Go with the lion. Good. He's hungry. He's gonna try to eat you. <laughs> I hope you have some lion repellent spray. <laughs> Max. Hey yo, what do you want? <laughs> Tell me my fortune. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Do you want to hear more about your future? Uh, no, that's fine. Max? Yes? <laughs> Let's dance. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and play a song from my phone here and let's see if Max dances to it. So, uh, kind of gives you an idea. That was awesome. But now I'm pretty tired. Thanks for dancing with me. <laughs> Let me know whenever you're down to dance again. Uh, sure thing, buddy. Hey, Max. What's cracking? Tell me a fun fact. You've been teaching me so much. I think I can teach you a few things, too. Email is the fun of it, which means that it has been around longer. Interesting. Did not know that. Now that you've got all that info, go share it with your buds. Want to hear some more crazy facts? No, it's okay. Uh, hey Max. Yo, what up? Record limb. Press the green button to record with motion. So this Press is gonna... Press the yellow button to record with the directional button. 
So this will actually record a different motion and it'll actually play that motion for us. So I'll hit green. Okay. When you are ready to record, just press my red button. Then move me or press the directional buttons. When you so I'm going to go ahead and move his servo left, move his servo right, open up his arm, close his arm, and move him back, and then move him forward. All right, so let's go and see it. That's <laughs> so awesome. So we can go ahead and save it, and then we can play it later. No, it's okay. So there's a lot of different things we can do. Uh, there's different games and different functions and kind of gives you an idea what Max is about. What's up, buddy? Tell me a joke. I told him what's up with him the other day and she moved it. What type of birds always stick together? Mm. Velcros. <laughs> I told him like that as much as I did. So as you can tell, there's a lot of different animations with this robot. Uh, so it actually makes it quite fun. Now there's another mode that you can do is for instance if we go ahead and take this off here and change them into a drone mode This will This will actually allow us to control him as a RC car So all I'm doing is pressing his buttons and uh, you can go ahead and do different things And uh, from there, you can go ahead and program it based on what you want to. So there's actually a lot of different capabilities with this robot. Robot mode engaged. Um, that's my head. Please be gentle. Please be gentle. Careful with that thing. I only have one of those. Hey, careful with that. You might get pinched if you're not careful. <laughs> hey, Max. Hola, amigo. Go to sleep. <laughs> All right, well, there you guys have it. I uh, hope this kind of gives you a little bit of idea what Max is about. Now, there's actually a lot of different animations with this robot, and it's very fun and it has a lot of character. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you have any questions about Max, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, thank you again for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.